Grade 1, Lesson 8, Frag 8 is Les 8. Ons maak eerst die huiswerk. We are busy with equations. Ons is bezig met vergelijkings. Hoe weet jy dis een vergelijking? That gives it away. That is why we're busy with equations. When it starts off looking like that, we're busy with an equation. Dis een vergelijking. En wat sal die vraag vir jou vraag? Vind vir my die onbekende, want het gaan nie nou altyd x wees nie. Dit beteken k, beteken a, nie soos weer een x. So it doesn't matter what the variable is, they're going to say, solve for, A, solve for, K, okay, or just find the unknown, the variable, find the unbekende. So dit, hierdie werk, kan ek nie vir jou genoeg sê hoe belangrijk is dit vir jou wiskundige toekomst nie. This you're going to use always and always. Now please remember what I said to you, try and keep the equal signs underneath each other, and use color so that you can see what you're doing. So, as I kijk wat is met haar a gedoen, dan is hy ge minus met 3 en gedeel met 2. So wat is die verste van hom af? Die min, die deel dier 2. What has been done with it? It has been minus with 3 and divided by 2. So what's the furthest? The division. Wat is die tegengestelde van deel? What's the opposite of division? It's multiplication. Now whether I write the times 2 there, or the times 2 there, it doesn't matter. It's the whole thing times with the 2. So if you know your aan wil sit, and if you don't know after wil sit, maak die saak nie, maar dit is die hele kant. But what you do on the left, you do on the right, so jy maal daar ook met 2. And remember what's your mission? I want to get rid of that 2. So if that didn't happen, your mission has failed. Your doel was om van die 2 ontslaaf te raak, en as dit nie nou gebeur nie, dan het jy geval in your doel, your mission, om die 2 weg te kan kry. So it did fall away. En aan die kant, wat is gelijk aan? 12. So nou het ek nog een min 3 om van ons slaaf te raak. En wat sê tegenstelle van minus 3? Plus 3. I still have the minus 3 to get away. What's the opposite of minusing with 3 is plus with 3. Left side, right side. So dat ek oor is net met A, want daar is 0. Your mission was to get rid of it and you've accomplished that. Equal signs underneath each other. And the answer is... 15. How will I know that the answer is right? Go back. 15 minus 3 is 12. Divide by 6 is 6. Je sal weet of jy reg is as jy terug gaan en jy gaan soek vir my A15. 15 minus 3 is 12 gedeeld door 2 geef vir my die oorspronkelijke 6. So when you're doing equations, you can test yourself. You don't always have time, but you can test yourself. Goed, vir die volgende ene, gaan die vraag sê, soek vir K. K is G. Maal met, nie 2 en nie, minus 2. K has been multiplied with, not just 2, but with minus 2. So there's a multiplication. En dan staan daar a plus 1. So it's adding of 1. And division by 5. So there's maal en plus en deel. Multiplication and plus and division. Which one do I get away first? The division. So division by 5 opposite is times with 5. Let's do it at the back this time. So maal met 5, so that I can uitkansel hier, omdat jy aan die linker kan doen, doen jy ook aan die rechte kan. Keep your equal signs underneath each other. Mission accomplished because the 5's cancel out and you're left with 1 minus 2. Okay, en I can't so antwoord, is 3 maal 5 is 15. Now I've got to get rid of the minus 2 and the 1. Which one first? Multiplication, adding, first get rid of the plus 1 by saying minus 1 and minus 1. So that we've got 1 minus 1 is gone. Mission accomplished. Don't forget to have that minus there. Die minus 2 k is a part and package. Dis a eenheid. Jy kan nie die minus net weggooi nie. Dis minus 2 k wat oor bly. En aan die ander kant bly 14 oor. So, daar is nou gemaal met min 2. Tegenstel van maal is deel met min 2. Opposite of multiplication by minus 2 is division by minus 2. So that your answer for k is negative 7. And again, you can go and substitute and simplify. Min 2 maal min 7 is plus 14. Plus nog 1 is 15. And 15 gedeeld door 5 gee 3. If you go and substitute back in again with minus 7, then minus 2 times minus 7 is plus 14. Plus 1 is 15. Divide by 5 gives you 3. And then you know you've got the right value there. Onthou dat die groene gaan oor. Ek probeer wat sy kaal moet hier staan. So dat dit gelijk sal wees aan 3. 
question is what k must I get so that if I do this, I'll get 3. We're not going to substitute all the time, but that's how you can know that you are right. Good. So, what is here what I will gaan kry? The vraag is, schrijf A. A is ge, maal. En ge, plus. En ge, maal met de derde. So, from the inside out, from the furthest, you've got times, you've got adding of 7, times negative 7, and adding it, and then the whole thing has been timed by a third. So what's the eerste wat jy gaan kry? Die maal met de derde. The times of third must get away first. So there's two ways. Either divide by the third, and then we've got three things on top of each other, which is right. Die mag het doen. En as jy dan sê dertig gedeel dier die derde, dan word er dertig maal met drie op. En, but instead of doing all that, because you can, Opposite of division by, of times by a third is division by a third. You can do that. Or, as I taught you, you can also time by the opposite of that, the reciprocal of that, which is 3 over 1. You can work more met duidense omgekeerde sy reciproog, met ander woorde, 3. So that, die 3 kan wegval. Remember, your mission is to get the 3 away. If it doesn't work, then you've got the wrong mission. But what I do on the left, I do on the right. I get gemal met 3 op 1. I don't need to write it on one, but you can. And then, bly oor, net 6 minus 7 oor. I can leave the brackets away, because they don't have a purpose anymore. There's nothing in front. And die antwoord in die rechte kant is 90. Wat gaan ek nou eerste weg kry? Hy is gemal en hy is geplus. So, the, ek moet eerst gaan weg kry vir minus 6. 6 minus 6 is weg. First multiplied, and then it was added, so I've got first got to do it away, the, the 6 that was the furthest from it, by saying minus 6. You don't have a choice. You cannot first take away the 7 and then the 6, and I do the other one, and we're going to get the same answer. No, it doesn't work that way. If there's a right way, and there's a wrong way. Eerst krijg die 6 weg, en dan die min 7, jy het nie kiese nie. Om die 6 weg te krijg, wat ek links doen, doen ek raas. Keep the equal signs underneath each other. Is your mission accomplished? 6 min 6 is 0. So we only left with minus 7. A. And die antwoord is verder. 80. Kom ons kyk of jou jou maaltafel skien. So to get rid of that times with negative 7, I have to divide by negative 7. Divide by negative 7. But jy links doen met jy rechts doen. What you do on the left, you do on the right. So I have a, because I have made sure my mission was to get the 7 away, and if I time and divide, it's gone. But a plus divided by a negative is a negative. And then how much? How many times does 7 go into 84? You must know your 7 times table for that. Just use your calculators. It's 12. So if you do go back, I'm not going to do it this time. Put it back in there, do the whole sum, it should work out to 30. Here in the om die gedeel weer 4 weg te kry moet ek. Maal met 4, en maal met 4, op 1, nee. So dat jy kan sien, die 4 gaan uitkanseleer as jy wil, en die 4 gaan ook uitkanseleer. Doesn't always have to do, this was my mission, to get the 4 away. That's accomplished. If that happens on the other side, so be it. So die antwoord hier so is min 2x min 1, gelijk aan 1. So first I had to get away the 4. It was times, and minus, and divide. First the divide, now the minus, die hitte, plus, aan al twee kante, dan gaan ek oor hem in 2x alleen, want daar is weg. My mission was om om weg te kry, mission accomplished, I got the minus 1 away. Now it has been time by negative 2, so I divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Om die maal met minus 2 weg te kry, moet ek deel die minus 2, so dan is my mission accomplished, want x is nou alleen. A plus gedeel die min is a, min 1. En sien jy nou, hoekom ek het vir veel gesê, moet asjeblief nie gaan en probeer een inspeksie doen en sê, mm, wat maal min 2 minus 4, 1 geef vir my gedeel dier 4 gelijk aan een kwart nie? Dis nie meer so makkelijk nie. This is the reason I told you, yes, sometimes it's easy. When I asked you over here, minus 2x equals 2, what must the x be? You could have figured it out with inspection. Please don't do inspection anymore. Get this method down to a T. Goed, los op vir x. Hier is so iets die snaaks, want hier is nou die x onder die lijn. 
So ja, ek moet gaan minus om met 1 en dan moet ek dit gaan deel door 3 of deel gaan, 3 gaan deel daar door en by die antwoord van 0 gaan uitkom. Dit is my een higher level type of sum. Ek kan my praat van level 4, dit is nie heel te maar raar of so nie, dit is so snaaksigheid, skoor die verhaal dag wat nou bietje afgegaan het. As ek na hom wil gaan kyk, moet ek so bietje terugstaan en net bietje my logika gaan gebruik. I'm saying here, just use your logic. Gebruik my bietje jou logika. As ek een antwoord van 0 moet kry, think back on the rules of, of, of 0. If I time by a 0, I get 0. If I divide by a 0, I get undefined. As ek maal met 0, kry ek 0. Maar as ek deel met 0, is het ongedefinieerd. Nou, sê vir my, die enigste manier wat hierdie antwoord kan gelijk wees aan 0, beteken ek moet deel in 0 kry. The only time I can divide and get a 0 is if the top part is 0 and it's not. Daar is nie manier wat ek enige x hier kan sit wat vir my antwoord van 0 gaan gee nie. Because 3 divided by nothing will give me 0. 3 divided by 0 is undefined. So hierdie kan nie 0 wees en vir my 0 gee nie. So I had to work a little bit of logic thinking about what is the only time I can get a division answer of zero is if it's zero divided by something. And this is not zero. So then, if I get an answer like that, I've got to say that there's no solution for x. Does geen oplossing for x nie. Want ek moes gaan dink het aan my reels van deel met 0. Nou, dit is een bykie anders, nie? If I try to time divide whatever, it's not going to work here. I've got to figure out, what can I put in the place of x there so that the answer will be 0, nothing. The only time the division gives me 0, if it's 0 divided by something. The only time that I can 0 antwoord kan kry vir die deelsom is, is het 0 gedeel weer iets is. Dit kan nie 3 gedeel weer 0 wees nie, want dan is die antwoord ongedefinieer. So kyk, sometimes we talk about a higher level sum, in a question paper, and this was one of it. So how many marks would they have been? That's so one point getar it. Only one mark. Because of knowing what to do. Losing your logic. Most of the time we stick to the basics. If I want to figure out what is C in this case, los op versier, wat is met hom gedoen? Hy is gemaal met een minus en hy is geminus met 18. Ten nog gestel dat van een minus 18 is het? Plus 18, plus 18. Keep working with your color pens. So that minus 18 plus 18 gives me nothing, and what's left? Not just C, minus C, but oor minus here. And as I optel, min 20 and plus 18 gives me minus 2, and I can use your logic to say, but as min C is min 2, then C is min 2, then C is not equal to 2. Either use your logic that says minus C equals minus 2, then C has to be 2. Or it's timed by a negative, so I'm going to divide by a negative. Negative what? Well, make it logical, minus 1, divide by minus 1. Does give me a minus divided by minus is a plus, c divided by 1 is c, minus divided by minus is a plus, 2 divided by 1 is 2. Whichever way you did it, you got your answer of 2. And you can go test. Volgende ene keer is gemaal met, ek soek vir x, hy is gemaal met minne 3 kwart. What has been done with x? It's been timed by negative 3 over 4x. Let me just remind you of ways of writing. I could have said minus 3x over 4 if I wanted to. It's nice if it's this way and I ask you what the coefficient is, because the coefficient of x would then be minus 3 over 4. As ek om so mooi vir jou skryf, kan jy baie makkelijk sien wat die coefficient van x. Die coefficient van x is die wat voor hom staan min 3 op 4. If it was written this way, however, you had to figure out it's still negative 3 over 4x, that's the coefficient of x. And for that matter, for a hopefully a good reason, I could write minus 3 times x times a quarter. I'm just explaining to you that there's sometimes a various amount of ways to write stuff. Is this still the same sum? Yes, absolutely. Because it's all over 1 if you want to write it. Minus 3 times x times 1 is still minus 3x at the top, and 1 times 1 times 1 over 4, it's still the same answer. I'm just trying to explain to you, sometimes there's got to be a reason for it. You can write things differently. So if you wanted to write it that way, you could have. But there has to be a reason. Now, if you wanted to say, well, okay, 
then it's timed and divided. So first get the divide away by timing, then get the times away by dividing. You can do that. The first thing that I have to do, that you can also do it, is by my car, I have to say, I'm going to do it with 4 times, I'm going to do it with 4, and then I'm going to do it with 3 times, and then I'm going to do it with 4. But as is, you can just use that timing with the inverse that we've been teaching you. That says, if it's times with, Three quarters. Why can't I just times with four over three to get the three away and the four away at the same time? Could I do it separate steps? Yes, you could. But to get the minus away as well, you've got to time it with negative four over three. Remember your mission? Get x alone. So if I times by a negative and the negative times a negative is a plus, threes fall away, fours fall away, and you're left with x. Mission accomplished. But what you do on the left, you do on the right. So kijk gauw, as ek wil maal met a breek, kan ek maal met sy reciproek omgekeerde, the reciprocal, then I can say, well, 3 cancel out, 4 cancels out. So as ek maal met 3 op 4, gaan ek maal met 4 op 3 om om weg te kry, en om die minus weg te kry, maal ek met nog een min, want die min maal en min is a plus. Wat jy die linker kan doen, moet jy aan die rechterkant ook gaan doen, en maal met die minus. Remember that minus can be wherever. At the negatives, at the 3, at the 4, right in the front, it doesn't matter. And use your calculator if you want. So it's going to be a plus times a minus is a minus. And then the 4s do not cancel out. Die 4 kan se leer mekaar nie uit nie, wel a 4 staan op a 1. So it's 4 times 4 is 16 and 1 times 3 is 3. And leave it like that. Although you can write minus 3 and a 3rd. Of jy kan skryf minus 3,33. There's a few ways of writing that, but that's acceptable. Leave it that way. So, soek vir A. A is ge mal en ge plus. Wat kan jy eerste weg? Die plus deur te sê minus met 5 aan al twee kante. What has been done with the A? It has been timed and plus. What do you get away first? The plus by saying minus. Then on either side, and then this will fall away. Mission accomplished. It's only a quarter A. That's left. Aan die kant by oor, minus 4. So you adding 1 minus 5. 1 minus 5 is minus 4. Hoe kry ek nou die maal met die kwart weg? Maal met sy omgekeerde 4 op. Can I say divide by a quarter? Yes, you can. Of maal met die omgekeerde. Jy kan sê deel die kwart of maal met 4 op 1. Dis die selfde ding. So on that side, times with 4 over 1. But over 1 doesn't really make sense because there is no fractions on the other side. But it's fine. Dan gaan die vierde uitkans leer en al blaar leer en oor. En die plus maal en min is een min en vier maal vier is 16. The last homework sum is number 30. Die is die laaste huiswerk som. Die vraag sal sê, los die vergelijking op. Los op vir x. It is an equation. So it will say solve the equation by solving for, in this case, x, every sum is a different one. All of the ones on the board are now solved for x. Vergelijking. So, wat is daar om te doen om hier die x'a alleen te kry? Nou, in die eerste plek sien ek, hier is een klomp gelijk soorte getermen, they are like terms. So, add them. You've got the tools, add them, make your life easier by adding the coefficients. Let daar die coefficiënte by mekaar, wat minus 1, of minus 5, 1, en 2 is. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4, plus 2 is minus 2, so the answer would be minus 2x, still plus the 5 equals the 99, keep the equal signs underneath each other, so 5 minus, uh, minus 5 plus 1 is min 4, plus 2 is here for min 2, now can I say x is ga mal en ge plus, so the first thing that I can make is the plus and then the mal, it has been timed by negative 2 and then added with 5, so the first thing I'm going to get away is the plus 5 by saying minus, 5 on either side, keeping the equal sign. Dan gaan jy hier so kry, mission accomplished, dan min 5 is weg, 5 min 5 is niks, and if you subtract there, you're going to get 94. It has been timed with negative 2, so jy moet deal met minus 2, deal met minus 2, so our answer would be plus x, mission accomplished, I wanted x alone, en aan die kant het ek een plus gedeel die min is a min, en 2 gaan in 94 in, voor gebruik is het bieve jou sakrekenaar, uit die 7. Recht, maak seker jou sakrekenaar, gebruik jy. 
Goed, dan gaan we nog een paar voorbeeldjes doen. Jij gaat nog een beetje stukjes geven aan je werk. Maar dan is het ons dat ik ga de exponent in. En basically, hier, you're working with machten van 2 en machten van 3. You're working with powers of 2 en 3. That's what they're actually wanting you to know here. Not really doing it the way that the kids in grade 9, 10 and 11 do it, but basically it comes down to that. If you can say 2 to the power what, and you know your powers of 2, like I taught you. 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 2 to the 4 is 16. Then you would have known 2 to the what is 16. So you know that x is equal to 4. So if you can go figure out that 16 is 2 to the power of 4, then you know that your x is equal to 4. So what you moet hee is, wachten van 2. Wachten van 2 en 3, ons gaan nou nou by enig, wel, nou nou by enig kom wat die 3 het. As jy die wachten van 2 geken het, 2 tot die 1 is 2, 2 tot die 2 is 4, 2 tot die 3 is, nie 6 nie, 2 tot die 3 is 8, 2 tot die 4 is 16, so jy vir my kon sê, want 2 tot die 4 is 16, so x is 4. En dan dadelijk so maar die antwoord geskryf het, omdat ek besef, 16 is 2 tot die macht, 4, so nou weet ek x is 4. Still, yes, I know that this is going to be the biggest problem, but I have to, I can get rid of that plus 1. Hierdie gaan die groot probleem wees, waar ek my machte van 2 en 3 moet ken, maar wat kan ek met die plus 1 doen, want hy is toch die verste. The plus 1 was the furthest, so I first get to sort that out by saying, plus with 1 is minus with 1 to get it away, so 2 to the x is 3, 2. En nou weer eens, ken jy jou machte van 2, dus 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, 2 to the 4 is 16, 2 to the 5 is 32. And I'm only going to ask you ones that are working, because you're only in grade 8, so it's going to be 2 to the power of 5, so x is equal to 5, because you know that 32 is 2 to the 5. You can write it, or you can just make a deduction. Jy kan dan met ander woorde gaan weet, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, ken jou machte van 3, 2. So wat gaan ek nou by hierdie enigie doen? O, gids, nou is er nog een dubbele 1 daar ook. So, kom ons kyk. I've got to sort that out, but I can first get rid of that minus 1 by saying plus with 1. Hy is die verste daar vandaan, so kry hom aan die ander kant. So 2 tot die mag 2x, geef van my dan 2, 5, 6. Nou, moet jy bykie verder gaan met jou machte van 2, now your powers of 2. Do you know that many? So it's 2 to the 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 20, no. 64, 2, where am I now? 124, and then it's 216. No, let me just go get it quickly. 2 to the power of 8, I think, y'all. 2 to the power of 8, for a moment my brain left me. 2 to the power of 8. So, jy moet gaan ken, en nou het my eie brein my daar verlaat. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, en dan is het 256. Uiteindelijk het ek by die Engelse kinders verkeerd gesê. So ek weet dat die is 2 tot die 8. So wat? If I know that that is 2 to the 8, that means 2 to the 8, that that 2x must be 8. 2x must be 8. Now this is quite higher level. If I do this, with a little smile, you must know this is a little bit higher level. So in an exam, we are going to keep on doing this over and over and over and over again. But for grade 8s, this might be one of the sums somewhere, maybe for a higher level mark. This is not really very grade 8 level. So then, now I've got to get rid of the 2. It's timed with 2, so you divide by 2, divide by 2, and your x will be equal to 4. So it's getting a little bit tricky now. There's no big moeiliker, nee. Jy moes uitgefigur het dat het 2 tot die 8 is, want jy ken jou machte van 2, en dan weet jy 2 tot die x is 8, en as jy weet 2 maal x is 8, dan moet jy weet, deel dit 2, deel dit 2, x is gelijk aan 4. And remember, you can go test yourself. So if this was a 4, that meant that it's 2 to the 8, which is 2, 5, 6, minus 1 gives me 2, 5, 5. Goed, jou laaste voorbeeldje vir jou huiswerk gaan geen, het lyk na baie, het looks like a lot, but remember, this is the reason why I've got to do this video classes. Practice makes perfect. 
So if you don't see it and hear it and see it and hear it and do it yourself, you're not going to get the hang of it. It's not just go read the maths and you'll be able to do it. They would oefen and oefen and oefen. Do you help me? Let's say if you can read it, you can read it. You can do a few things. Here is what the moeilijker is, what we now are busy with. These are the difficult ones that I'm busy with now. That they might might be one in the exam. Don't mach net ene ken examen lees. En hier is weer die ouwe, so dus kan oefen hier die vergelijkings. Goed, so wat soek ons? Ons soek vir x, maar oor, jy te kie, hy is a exponent. So jy moet jou machte van 2 ken. Now having done exponents of 3 and even exponents of 5, powers of 5, but you've got to do that. So wat moet jy eerste hier weg kie? Hy is gemaal en hy is geplus. It has been timed and it has been plussed. What do you get away first? The minus, the plus 1 by minus in with, 1. So, dit is die eerste ding wat jy gaan doen. Dan blij daar 3 maal 2 to the x oor, is gelijk aan 24. To get away the times 3, you're gonna divide 3, and divide 3, and then you're gonna get 2 to the power of x, because that falls away, is equal to, how many times is 3 going to 24? 8 times. And eventually we come to know your powers of 2, This could have been a 3 or a 5, because they've got you've got to know your powers of 2 and even 5. So now know your powers of 2. 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 3, 2 to the 2 is 4, and 2 to the 3 is 8. If you go through them quickly, this was an easy one, one of the easiest ones. You know that x is equal to 3, because you know your powers. There's your homework. P please don't rush it off. Do the homework. Step by step, listen again to the video and try this your hardest. I can't explain to you how, how important ex equations are. Vergelijkings is een van die meest belangrijke goed in wiskunde. Oefen so hard as wat jy kan, mensen.